Hello everybody, today I'm not reviewing a laptop or a game. I'm showing you how I play and keep the laptop fresh while doing so. As you can hear, the sound it makes is barely noticeable. I always advise people to buy an active cooling pad, but many times the placement of the fans aren't very fitting the laptop intakes you got, or fans are of very different radius, some small and fast spinning, some large and slow moving. The worst noise the whining and swirling noise happen due to the small spinning fans. So the ideal cooling pad is one with movable fans, so you can place it right under the intakes of your laptop and with large diameter fans. Do they exist? Probably. But the cheapest method is to reuse an old metal cooling pad and fit beneath two 120mm fans, which can be USB driven. I am providing both the USB fans and the original Cooler Master cooling pad links was mini fans broke on me years ago in the video description. You can use any angled metal surface for the scope provided it has enough holes to strap the fans solidly underneath. Now it's time to show you if it does any benefit. A disclaimer here first. I tested that today with Overwatch, which is far from being a stressing game, even if set at ultra details. Also, I capped the FPS to the screen limit of 175 Hz. This means that the laptop does not get too hot even without any cooling dissipation. Yet it almost reaches out the limit I set in my control center, which are 92 degrees on CPU, 87 degrees on GPU. You can see that as soon as I enable the fan spinning in the active cooling pad, the laptop reduces temps by like 5 degrees on the CPU and a lot less on the GPU. But don't fret, you'll see soon how big of an impact you can get anyway. In fact, once you totally remove the raised cooling pad, even if static, you see that, despite the temps are still under control, this is due to the fact that the GPU had to throttle. The 140 watts the cooling pad can attain are now limited to 118 watts max if no cooling pad is present. The past 1500 MHz of GPU speed are now 1300. Overwatch is a very easy game on the GPU, so it still can run at 175 FPS no problem, but you get the idea. Let me know if you want the same active cooling pad yes no testing with more demanding games, like Warzone with FPS uncapped. I imagine the delta would be greatly different. I'll gladly make one video about that if you need. Hope it helped anyway, and thanks for watching.